Hey guys, um, today I'm gonna do a little um, makeup haul as well as a little bit of a, a what's happening again in my life. Apparently I don't have anybody to tell. I mean, I do have people to tell things to, but apparently it's not enough because I like to um, tell you guys my whole fucking life story. But I am going to be showing you guys what I have uh, bought and I have bought quite a few things just because it's my stress reliever to buy stuff like to go shopping when I don't have money um, and I literally have known this forever like whenever something really bad happens I always go and spend money and I know I just made the video of me not wanting to spend money anymore that's why I had gotten the second job um, short story um, I quit the other job um, I spent the money. I actually at least paid some bills with that money that I made extra. And, um, I'm back to spending money because whenever I get stressed or whenever I have issues in life, that is one way for me to come out of it or like, so yeah, I did a little bit of damage and, um, don't judge me. I know I have issues. But I haven't had issues like the ones I did before when I actually had to go, you know, and when I actually went into debt and, and started buying unnecessary stuff. I used to buy expensive ass makeup and expensive ass stuff that I couldn't afford either way. But I still bought it and that's why I have so many, um, well, such bad credit, I guess. So with that being said, my excuse is I got in a car accident um, last week. And prior to that, I had another disappointment, which didn't affect me as much, but it still was kind of sad. Um, I had a few other things that, like, I don't want to say here, um, but the month of October was just a bad month for me, and it sucked. So, with that being said... I'm going to start with the Morphe because um, I bought a couple of cute things and just four things actually on the Morphe store. I actually was going for moral support for my sister. She was going to go get the um, Shane Dawson palette, which she did. We actually left um, the house at 8 in the morning. We got there around 8.30 and we stayed in line until 12 30 to get that palette which she did get it and there was a lot of them so she she did get it but i ended up getting some stuff myself like the the gloss from him and then the lipstick oh my god and i actually really like this color but i tried it on and i didn't really like how it looked on me it looked like these and the gloss is just the clear gloss. And it shows it right there. And then, I actually have been trying, or been dying to try this, but I actually wanted to show you guys first. Um, because, I'm... I know that this was out a long time ago, but like, have you guys seen the colors? And, you know, and I haven't even swatched them because, I mean, I swatched them at the store, but I haven't even swatched these. I'll show you guys the glitter one. Look at that. I can't really see it. But it's really pretty. The other silver gold. You can't see it. Anyways, they're freaking amazing ass colors. So I'm gonna try this one on tomorrow. And then I actually don't own any glosses besides the gloss and now this one. Um, from Jeffree Star, I have a couple of their lipsticks, but not. Like lip glosses. I have the lipsticks and 
I have some lip scrubs, but I didn't have the lip glosses. And this one's in the color Legends only. And this is like my favorite freaking lip gloss ever now. So that was it. That's all I got, Morphe. Um, the palette was 35 and the lipsticks and lip glosses were 18 each. So yeah, that made a little hole in my pocket. And then I also, the next day, so this was um, Friday from 8 to 8 30 to 12 we were in line which is a couple hours for this one um my sister and my sister-in-law we actually went camping for this i'm gonna say they stayed camping because i went to the car and i slept in the car it was too cold and i am old i had gone in the car accident on monday so my arm's still kind of sore so the cold wasn't helping um so yeah um, I didn't do as much damage there, and I got a lot of stuff there, um, but I am not going to tell you guys the prices because my sister-in-law actually sells these these products. It's from Beauty Creations and Trend Beauty and Bibella and other stuff, I think. So she actually sells this stuff, and you guys could follow her. I'm going to link her Instagram below, um, and then you guys could see that because yeah i didn't really buy a lot of stuff either so these actually came in a dozen so i got all three colors four of each color i think and they're just beauty blenders they're good to work with um and i'm gonna go real quick with the palettes because like i said i don't know it's not i didn't get that many actually so, and by not that many, I meant um, about six palettes. So this one's the one that I've been using, actually two days in a row now. Um, this is the Bibella B35C, and it looks something like this. So it's still kind of... So I've been using these for two days. I've been actually trying to take pictures so I could send them to my sister-in-law. But, like, I'm not happy with the pictures so that I don't send them to her. Um, this one's In Real Love. And it looks like these. Boss Babe. And this is in more neutral colors. Um, if you're not comfortable with it. Ugh. the shit out of it. If you're not comfortable with colors, um, this one is a good one. Look at the big ass scratch I just did right now. You have this one, which is also nudes. And the last one is the Cali set. And it looks like this. Yeah, I get the same colors. Over and over. And this one is the highlight. So that was my palette. It came with the goodie bag because we were one of the first 200 people and that it came with this palette in there so this one was that palette that was free oh we got there at around 11 o'clock and they don't open the doors until nine o'clock or eight o'clock nine o'clock i think and then it started like chispeando poquito that's funny it came with the eyelashes it came with three lip liners, a metallic lip gloss la lasting in a metallic purple. I got these little glitters. And it also came with these um, eyeshadows. I honestly think I have this one already. Like, I think this one was in the goodie bag last time. So yeah, that was it. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna tell you guys the story of my accident because this was my first accident ever, and um, so I was actually on my way back home from dropping off my daughter. It was around 9:20, I think when they noted that in the in the report, it was around 9:20, and um, I was in the 91. If you guys live in Corona, you guys know how bad the 91. Um, what the 15 gets. 
um there was it was going smooth there was no traffic at one point and then once we hit the 15 and the 91 um that's when it started to slow down i was slowing down because i have actually experienced um when it does sudden stops and i have to like run out on and push the brake really really bad like really fast and you know a veces que moyanta and i mean a veces but the one time that happened i actually did learn my lesson after that to be more cautious in that freeway or in that section so i saw from far away i actually um saw that there was going to be a sudden stop at one point because it's the 91 and the 15 they're meeting and um so i stopped when the stop came like when everybody came to a stop i stopped and i noticed that the car behind me from my mirror um wasn't stopping and it felt so weird because i had never gotten in a car accident um and this was was more like um i couldn't do much about it i saw it coming and i really thought like I'm, if you guys know me, I'm not a, for a person to things really fast. Like, it takes me a minute to like react to things. So I saw the person and I kind of reacted to it, and I was gonna go to the side, but the incoming traffic or the traffic next to me, there was no possible way that I was gonna be able to like go without hitting somebody myself. So it literally felt like it was slow motion coming to me, and I didn't have anything. Or I didn't, couldn't do anything about it. So once I got the hit, I went back. I hit my back. Um, my back of my head. With my seat. Because um, I drive a little bit. I'm short. So I have to get really close so I could reach the brake and the gas. But I la lay down my seat a little bit back. So I won't be too front. So I did hit my back and my head. Um, and to be honest, I have no idea how I got to the side. Um, of the freeway. I just remember being at the other side of the freeway already. Like I obviously drove to the side because that was in the middle lane. So I obviously um, did two more line lanes to get to the to the side. And I do not recall that. Like it, that part of my that part just vanished for me. Like there's no memory whatsoever of it. Like I just remember getting hit and next thing you know I was already at the side of the freeway um, I had called the police first and I told them where I was at and they said that they were gonna be there shortly I called my sister and to be honest I wasn't keeping track of the time but the, it felt like it was forever like that I was waiting for the police to show up forever the cop I mean the other car stopped right in front of me he pulled over to the in front of me um he i did see that he opened the door at one point but we were so close to the to the freeway or to the highway to the lane that they almost took his door so like i was literally telling like thinking like do not get off because first of all it's fucking 9 30 there were parked so close to the freaking we're so close to the damn traffic um so, and he closed it i waited again we waited for the cop um the highway patrol actually did show up a little bit after and he came to my side first he took my information um i literally was still kind of in shock that i couldn't I, like i couldn't believe that this had happened to me after everything that's happening i was just like wow like this is bullshit like wow and, um, yeah, like, I thought to myself, like, this can't be happening right now. Like, this is, this is fake. And so when the, when the highway patrol was taking all my information, I called my dad just because I couldn't even remember anything. Like, my, I was still into shock, I think. That he asked for my for my license and he asked for my insurance and he asked for my um, registration everything and I was just like I don't have anything like 
I literally just went to drop off my daughter. I don't have anything. Um, but I had everything. Um, so I looked in my bag. I got my license. I gave it to him. And I told him, I don't have my, my insurance, but I do have insurance. And then he goes, okay, well, can you get the policy number? Can you call somebody to get the policy number or anything? And I was just like, yeah, let me call my dad. At this point, I was just like, fuck, my dad's going to get mad. I'm going to get like... Like, I'm, like, my dad's going to be pissed off because my dad is kind of that type of person that, like, yells at you first and then later asks you if you're okay or not. So, I was super nervous. I called him and he goes, I don't have it with me. He's My dad's a truck driver, so he doesn't have it in his actual, he had it in his actual car. <clears throat> so, I ended up looking for my old insurance card because I, my dad gave it to me, but... I don't put stuff in my car right away. So I was looking for the old insurance just to get the policy number. And it turns out that it was that card. That was the current one. And he's like looking at me like if I lied to him. And I was just like, dude, I like, I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I totally forgot. I have no mind right now. And he kept like making it seem like I was lying. And I was like, oh my God, like I'm going to cry. And, um... He examined the car, he saw the damage, and then he said, can you turn on the car? And I turned it on, I actually turned on, and he said, okay, drive home. And I was like, what? Like, am I going to get any of the other person's information? And he goes, no, here's your report. Uh, the report, uh, when you call your insurance, just give them this number, and they're going to take care of it. And I'll take care of the other person. So, that's pretty much what happened. Um... He didn't even ask if I needed an emergency because he saw me. He didn't. He didn't even ask if I needed an um, an ambulance or anything like that. Like he was just plain and simple. Like, okay, give me your information. It's not that bad. Go ahead. And when I got home, that's when when I felt started feeling nauseous. I did eat the day like right before actually it happening. So I think that's what it was. So I came home, I get, I got nauseous, ended up throwing up. My sister gets home from work, and she goes, are you okay? And I'm like, I just threw up, I don't know. She goes, okay, well, let's go to the hospital just to get to make sure. And I was like, yeah, I think, I think I didn't feel it there. Maybe I got concussion, or maybe I got, like, I don't know. I have a phobia with puking, so I don't puke. <laughs> I hold it in as much as I can, except when I'm, you know, I've done it a couple of times. Um, but I don't usually throw up. So I did tell her we went to the hospital. They examined me a little bit. Um, they said that I threw up because of, because I was nervous. And then my muscle and neck pain were because muscle spasm. And that that was going to get worse the next day. But it's normal after an incident like that. So yeah, that's what happened. And that was my accident. Um, I called them when I got home from the hospital at 11 for the insurance. I called them, let them know, um, opened the claim, and then they told me they were going to, the place that they were going to fix the cars, they were going to call me, they were going to set up when I could drop it off. Um, the enterprise was going to be set up also, so I shout out to them because they have such a good, good customer service. The people there are so polite, um, and this is my life insurance. And, um, so yeah. So I went to sleep, woke up, and within, like at 7 o'clock, they actually called me, 7.30. They called me from the place, and they told me, when can I drop off the car? I told them, like, oh, well, can I drop it off at 9.30? They asked me if I needed a tow, tow truck, and I had mentioned that I had drove, like, I had driven it from the accident. So they said, okay, then it's drivable, then you could go ahead and bring it in. That was at 9.30, and then when I got there... The guy that took the car was like, yo, this is a minor. Like, you could have literally got the tow truck to tow it because you shouldn't be driving the car like that. Like, both my back headlights were off. So it was a pretty hard, hard, um, hard hit. And after that, um, I finished the paperwork. He was like, when I drop it off. Then he's like, oh, did they tell you about Enterprise? And I said, yeah, they just told me to, um, for you guys to call them and I could go ahead and get it, get the paperwork set up. And 
they did they picked me up it's like a little like a block away um they picked me up the paperwork was actually done already by MetLife and they already had turned in everything and they gave me the car within 20 minutes that I was there so was, everything was so simple and, and easy to deal with and that's why I'm saying like shout out to them because I've seen other people that had to deal with a lot of insurance issues and a lot of um difficulties with them um so yeah so right now I'm driving a rental car and I actually called today to follow up on them because they still haven't told me about the other person's insurance and they said that they're waiting for the file for the police report from them that they still haven't received anything so everything's been taken care of with my insurance which you know it's a good thing thank god I actually had good insurance because knowing me I wouldn't like I would have chosen the cheapest one but you know I actually went with the full coverage and actually it's helping a lot and now I know why it's so damn expensive so I'm alive I called today they told me it was probably probably a complete loss like a total loss um, because the damages are worse are more expensive than the actual car itself so I'm still waiting for the to total loss department to give me a call back or something like that. That's what he said. And, yeah. That's it. That was my accident. And my excuse to be buying makeup, I guess. Because, yeah. So, yeah. That was my, um, my shopping, my makeup haul, and my first accident sucks life sucks right now but i mean um for halloween day my mom told me like i don't know why you're so like dressed like because i like, dressed up for work and she's like Por qué te dices? like why are you so happy and stuff and i'm just like well what am i gonna do like amagarme la vida like no like let me do me um the problems I obviously have dealt with worse stuff and it's fine like I'm gonna be fine I'll be okay just I don't want to be sad and <laughs> funny thing is that sometimes I bottled up so much shit that at the end of the freaking thing I that's when I break down I remember a couple months ago when something like this was actually happening um, a lot of things were happening and I literally was not crying and I'm a crier like I cry for everything um, and a lot of shit was happening like very bad shit and I just kept everything and I was just like no it's fine like meh meh it's a fine like and I remember I had fixed my phone a week before like the cracked screen and I was washing clothes and I was taking the clothes from the dryer. My phone was on the washer. My The washer was on. And then, I don't know where it started shaking. My phone falls, like, right on the actual screen. And I picked it up, and I saw it cracked. And that's what broke me. And it was so fucking weird because I picked it up. I literally just picked it up, put it on top of the washer again. And came inside running like crying my mom was in the kitchen and I was crying and she's she didn't even see me because I just ran into the room I put my face in the pillow and I just started bawling my eyes out like it was that little thing that made everything come to to like the end and that's what I think it's gonna happen right now because I haven't cried and I am smiling right now but I haven't cried I haven't gone that feeling where like Oh my god, my life sucks right now so bad. I'm mean, still in that feeling where like, eh, it's okay. Like, it'll, it, it's gonna be okay. Like, there's no, no big deal. It's gonna, it's gonna be okay. So, hopefully, it doesn't get to that point where like I'm like about to like, you know, jump off a bridge or anything like that. No, I mean it's not gonna happen. But I'm just saying like, so that's my story. Um, that is so sad. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys in the next video. Quién sabe cuando vas. Cuando tenga más problemas, yo creo, porque es nomás cuando les pinche grabo. Like, I'm trying to do makeup looks and stuff, and then like 
it doesn't come out. And then something bad happens. And, like, I want to tell you guys my story. Because that's just who I am. So I'll see you guys in the next one.